Hey, we might be limping, but we made it. Jupiter to Alaska. What's up, baby? The big roll. Yo, what's good, happy people? I'm Robert Arrington. This is Deer Meat for Dinner. We are on the big roll. If you've been following along, we left from Florida, we've driven all the way across America, into Canada, and we find ourselves in Alaska right now. Well, guess what? It has been a whirlwind thus far. On the last video, we were in Saskatchewan on the Sweetgrass Reservation with Lance Albert and his whole family. Well, they did a powwow and they cooked amazing food and we just had a great afternoon. But once we left the Sweetgrass Res, we headed northwest. Listen, this place right here, it's called like Happy Trails RV or Travel Land. We're in Grand Prairie on our way. Next stop, we're gonna be in British Columbia. We just meet this awesome family right here. This is Alberta Homesteading. They invited us over for moose burgers, but we have our head down and we're heading north. Dude, you want to see if we can help? Daddy, can we have my up? Hold on. Wait. You got to run back there and back me up so I know what's going on. I'll talk to you right here. Where are you coming from? Uh, I'm coming from Eagle River, Alaska. Heading down to Albuquerque, huh? Going down to Albuquerque, yeah. <laughs> Next thing you know, you're on the side of the road with a <laughs> perfectly good stranger fixing a tire. Uh, I can't complain about that. Okay, you guys. So this will be a perfect time to introduce... Oh, milk dud. <laughs> milk dud. <laughs> That's Kevin, everybody. Kevin came along to be a, uh, a cameraman slash helper to me. To say he's done an amazing job is an understatement. He fixes everything and is just a pleasure to be around. I am tickled pink. Austin decided he wanted to stay home and settle down and traveling as much as we travel is super hard. And Kevin's like, I'm your huckleberry. So have you ever done this before? Um, I was watching it on YouTube as we were pulling up. <laughs> so we got it down. <laughs> See that axle right there? That's the wrong axle. So the tire is sitting too close in there. It's rubbing. And then this car, I want to make sure he doesn't run me over. Hey, big boy, Sorry. why are you beating that guy's trailer with a hammer? <laughs> Anything to get him down the road, I guess. Now it's starting to hail on us. What the hell is going on here, boy? It's fixing to put some grease in her. <laughs> that tire's not going to rub anymore. Good. Well, we got, got a nice full tire. It's not flat. It's got a friend back there, dude. Hey, yeah. I wish you nothing but the best, man. I really appreciate you guys stopping. I can't. Yeah. Seriously. My pleasure, brother. Up, man. My pleasure. Really, Glad we really stopped. Really man, yeah. You know the funny thing? I don't even know that man's name. I, I, don't, I never asked him his name. But, uh, moments like that. I'll tell you a real quick story, y'all. Whenever I was a kid, I was riding on a, going deer hunt with my dad. And there was a, and we didn't have a lot of money. But I opened my dad's glove box and there was money in a pill bottle. I said, Dad, what's this money for? 
And he said, don't worry about it. Well, a long time later, we ran into somebody in a parking lot and they needed money. And he reached into his, into his glove box and he pulled out that pill bottle and he gave the guy a hundred bucks. And back then, a hundred bucks meant a lot more than it does now. And he looked at me and he says, I keep that money in there in case somebody needs it. And that always stuck with me. So whenever I did this trip, I purposely brought more tools and more supplies and more parts than I expected we would need. So that if I ran into somebody who needed it, we could help them. And so to me, that's a giant blessing to be able to do something like that. I just hope he makes it wherever he's going. Oh yeah, and <laughs> forgot to mention, he's been sitting on the road for six and a half hours. Nobody helped him. You're the first to even stop. How in the world could you pass somebody out here and go, yeah, I'm not gonna stop. Nah. That does Humanity humanity needs help. Okay, y'all, here's the scoop. This story just gets better and better and better. <laughs> We just helped the guy on the side of the road fix his truck. Then we come in here and this guy, he is just killing us. Team Old Exposure, William and Bug. My wife's over there, her name's Shelly, and we are traveling to Argentina by bike. For what? Uh, our goal is to raise a million dollars for underprivileged children. That's awesome. Look at her in there, she's editing. <laughs> I love it. You know what though, if you lived on this- Hey, hey, you guys, are you smoking up there? Time up. Yeah, right. Yeah, we do. Okay, hold on. Alright. Alright, um, let me pick up on this. Try to get this right yeah. underneath this tire. We gotta figure this out. The bolt, of all things, the bolt comes loose and who knows? On the bright side, it's not a flat. Right, eh? Yeah. Alrighty, this is not what we wanted, but it is what we got. That pin came out. And so we're using a pin from a Reese hitch and hopefully it works. We got ways to go, but we're gonna baby it. What do you say, honey boy? What a day. That's what I, I have had some, uh, there have been highlights to the day, but like that, I made an Instagram post just the other day. Don't complain about where you are, rejoice about where you're going. Hey, here we are. United States Customs, baby, and I'm excited to be here. Hi, <laughs> right, you guys. What an amazing opportunity. We left Jupiter, Florida on a mission to go to Seward, Alaska. Well, we're not to Seward yet, but we've made it to Alaska. But we're gonna continue on and we're gonna try to find a hardware store so we can get the, the, uh, the fifth wheel fixed and the big roll continues. We're Wait almost there, go. we're almost there, but we're not there completely. We've been on this trip for exactly one month now and I've found my favorite shop. It's called RV Repair Auto in Toke, Alaska. We rolled up in here, no joke. We needed some stuff and they said, we don't have it, but we can make it. Yes, sir. That's the man. We may be going moose hunting together, right? That's right. Just 30 <laughs> miles off the road. This is the owner of the shop, and he just busts out the torch and starts making a part. Yeah, he likes to purr a little bit. Right. Aaron, not only does he make our part for us, he comes over to see the rig and helps put them on. In about two shakes of a turkey's tail feather, old Mr. Aaron fixed us up. He built us exactly what we needed. But not only that, we'd only been in town for about three hours 
and he introduced us to Mr. Chris, who's local state trooper, and Rob, who he and his wife own the local coffee shop and the bar. I don't know how this happens, but we always meet amazing people, and they always invite us to go fishing. You know what that means. We are right outside of Toke here, and if you look, I typically use this Onyx map for hunting, but now we can use it for fishing. Like if I touch that, I can see that it's BLM ground. It's Alaskan government lands. And then we look and there's a lake down here that we can get to. Aria, are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> My friend Jen Noble, she makes these wagons and they are coming into very good use. I'll just have to bring this one over because the can't fit in my back. So Rob wanted to use the propane thing. And I was like, let's just, you know, start it old school. So if I don't get I'm this fire to start, I'm you. eating crow in about two minutes. So Robert is fishing, wading in the water. The kids are playing in the water. Everyone's down at the water bank. But Emma and I got all the corn ready and we put butter and the corn and aluminum foil and it's currently over this awesome fire that we started with the lighter. We got a fish Oh, you got a fish. He's, Is that he's, dinner? No. All right, I'm gonna come walking down here, find me a little area out of the way. It's nice and quiet. See if I can catch a lunker. Unbelievable when you're in Alaska like this, you've always got to be on the lookout for bears and other predators. Ooh, I actually just saw a fish roll right out there. Using this little map spinner. Throw it out there. Check your drag. And then just slow roll it. I don't know if it's slow rolling, but not ripping it in super fast. Look at this, y'all. There we go. Look at that. I mean, he choked on it. Beautiful little rainbow trout. That's my first one I've ever caught here in Alaska. Caught him on the little net spinner. We're about to push out in the canoe into the Ow. great white yonder here. Let's go down and just drip this whole edge. I had one come up and swirl on me right next to the boat. There he is. Got him. <laughs> we found him. Come on, boy. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, look at that. Still there. There you go. So just trolling, keeping the bait moving. Have a dang. Oh, 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 you know what though? You don't even have to just paddle, I got it. No worries, I got some left there. That's good. Shift it along. Uh-huh. Got him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like a little nicer. Huh? Oh, that one's got a little bit of length to it. It's Come on, buddy. Big. These are just two-year-old stalkers, though. These ain't. Look at that. These ain't those big ones. Look at. Oh! Come here, buddy. Now look. Aria, look. And you just throw it out there like that. And then you reel it. And you just reel it in. See how I'm reeling it? 
Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh, look. Yes! We got one! I'll be forced if I don't, don't do that. Oh, look at that. Nice! It's a what? No, it's a rainbow. It's a rainbow. Rainbow. We're in the money now. We got two. Right. Oh. That's a little fat guy. There he is. Got him. <laughs> yeah. There's a dog here? Yeah. I did. You double up on the way to Big Bobber and get out there in that deep. I did. They set the hooks so up. Hey boys, we're having a blast out here. Again, catching them off the bank, catching them in the canoe, catching them on shrimp. Catching them on spinners? Just catching them. Oh, it's on, uh, same thing though, I mean, it might have a little more dirt to it. Looks like it. Oh, he's a nice darky. So, this is something we just learned. See how they use a stick as a stringer? Then we got a little bit of water here. All right, stand up in the, in the wagon. And I gotta admit, this, here, move my binoculars over there, baby. Uh-huh, just let me get up. This wagon has been like the best thing ever. Sarah's been using it to collect firewood. We've been using it for all kinds of stuff. Drop a thumbs up if you've ever caught and cooked a rainbow trout over an open fire. I'm actually just gonna use the water like this and just Keep rinsing them off. Great way to scale the fish. What happened? You hurt yourself? Let me kiss it. Here. Whoa! Come here. Come here, let me give you a hug. Oh, sometimes you just gotta stop and love on the babies. Hey, are you tired? Yeah, but I, mean, I just cramped. You just cramped? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Can mm -hmm. Daddy clean this fish real quick? Well, you want to watch me? Mm -hmm. Okay, you just stand in the wagon. There you go. How many of these fish did you catch? Uh, none. None? Oh my gosh, watch this, Emma. Cut all the way right up there, just like that. Daddy, what is this thing? What is it? That's what I use to sharpen my knives. Right in here, there's a little Daddy. bloodline. We'll just take the head. Now, last thing, we're going to take and just cut some scores in them like that. Daddy, now, this fish this? is ready to go. All right, y'all, we're about to make some people happy here. Got a piece of aluminum foil. Take our fish, put it right in there. They don't know anything about this, but this Everglades original. We're gonna season it up nice on the inside and out. You watch, as I cook, people are gonna just start coming out of the woodworks. They will be like, hey, we smell something really good here, y'all. Then you just take this, cut you some onion slices, <laughs> thick or thin, all up to you. I love thick. Not like that. And then we're just gonna wrap this up. That's one happy little package. All right, so we actually use these logs to keep our grill from being too close because we don't want this to cook super duper fast. We want that butter to slowly melt. And as that melts with the onion and the, and the Everglades seasoning, it'll all come together. Are those onions? Yeah, those are onions. I cooked onions in mine too. Oh yeah? Yeah, with Everglades seasoning. There you go. Oh yeah. There we go. Right there. That's, it's Everglades. It's a Florida seasoning. Well, now it's sold everywhere, but it, it originated in Florida. That's so good. Look at that! <laughs> the size of these wood, it creates like this little happy, cozy home underneath it. Where before, if you just have a fire, it's not going to the sides. We forgot plates, but we do have some plastic forks. Let's see how this looks. Ooh, that yes, sir. Take, I'll take a bite of the tail section here. Same. Good. Mm. Is it good? Mm -hmm. So you eat the skin and everything? Oh, yeah. 
Uh -huh. Ooh, that is good. It's good survival I food. I don't got a fork. And here, I eat that one. Ooh, that's really good. What's a fork? Try it. Oh, here, I'm going to try it. Oh, it might be hot. No, no onions. It's not hot. No onions? It's really good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good, huh? Right. Really good. Okay. Mommy. Dad, could you give me a fork? Is that good? Yeah, oh, look at those onions good. that have been cooking all day. Ooh, those are beautiful. Good. Okay, can we take time to appreciate my onions that have been cooking all day? Those onions are good. Are good they good? I do not mm. like onions. Oh, but you might like those ones. Those are hey, really good. Hey, no. we're coming in hot. Literally. Literally. We're coming in hot. Yum. This is local state trooper, and uh, this is his son. What's your name? Carson. This is Carson and Chris. Sonia's right in front of you. And Sonia. There's Sonia. I was looking for I was looking for you. Oh my god. Mommy. But look, we rolled into Toke, Alaska two days ago. We didn't know a soul and we had a broken RV. In two days, we've met the entire town, got the <laughs> RV fixed, borrowed a borrowed a canoe, oh, so met Rob. Right now. Oh we got a bite too. Shut the front door. <laughs> Watch we out! Fish on! Go. It's on the white pole, it's on the white it. pole fish in the canoe. On. Middle. Yeah. Come on. Don't don't mess yeah, it up. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> hey, hey. Here, 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 here. Get him. Get him. Oh, <laughs> real, 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 real. Back up the bank. There you go. Good. Right there. Oh, 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 oh. Nice. That's a nice one. And folks. <laughs> With that, I want to walk over here and give somebody a huge thank you. This is Mr. Rob. He and his Good wife, job. they have the coffee shop, they have the bar. He put everything on hold to spend the day with us. It's an awful pretty fire you got going on there, sir. <laughs> thank you, wife, for that. Checked out Onyx Maps, found a nice little public area, busted out the uh, Polaris and the Argo, and we've had a wonderful day on the edge of a public lake all i can say is thank you very much my pleasure mr chris you're awesome brother this guy right here i gotta just i gotta give him a shout out this dude literally runs ultra marathons hikes in forever and kills the biggest moose i've ever seen this is his boy right here carson yeah i think carson and waylon where's waylon at this is waylon right here hey I, well, this is Waylon. What's up, buddy? He's been smashing trout, and we've just had a great family event out here today. We were in the canoes and just had a great time. I think we need to have them come down to Florida and reciprocate with an awesome South Florida alligator hunt. What do you think, Aria? Yeah. What do you think, Aria? That'd be awesome. Would you do that? Yes, definitely. Would you? I've been wanting to my whole life. <laughs> well, then we're going to have to do it. Hey, you guys, it's the big roll. We went from Florida to Alaska, and we're just getting started. Appreciate you being a part of it. If it weren't for you, none of this would be possible. Take care, God bless, and we are...